my dear sisters and brothers in our lord jesus christ the movie man for all seasons is dedicated to the life of thomas more now he had a very interesting life as a teenager he entered into the oxford university and graduated with flying colors he then entered into public ministry and then moved up the ladder sooner rather than later king henry the 8th appointed him chancellor of england in 1529 tragedy then struck his life king henry the 8th divorced his queen and married another woman and he wanted to make his marriage legal so therefore he asked all the dignitaries of his court to sign an accord that this marriage is a legal marriage and if they would not sign this accord then they would be imprisoned for treason and executed saint thomas more refused to sign the document he wanted to stand by the truth in spite of all the persuasion that he underwent he never signed the decree he never signed the document and therefore on 6th of july 1535 he was executed for treason this story of saint thomas more that we have just illustrated tells us of a deep point that is in today's gospel if your arm makes you to sin cut it off if your foot makes you to sin cut it off if your eye makes you to sin pop it out it is better to enter the kingdom of god blind than to have both eyes and be thrown into hell fire is jesus literally telling us to remove out our eyes to cut off our arm to cut off our foot jesus basically is explaining to an expression of his day but this is the point that he wants to illustrate he wants to say his followers must be willing to sacrifice anything for the kingdom of god his followers need to sacrifice that what is precious in order to receive entry into the kingdom of god and in the case of thomas more it was giving up his life now you might be thinking since thomas more was a saint it was very easy for him to give up his life let's listen to the words these words of saint thomas more appear in his letter that he wrote to his daughter meg and it tells us of the difficult struggle that was going on within his soul as he was lying there in prison he writes to his daughter dear meg i will not mistrust god though i feel myself weakening and on the verge of being overcome with fear i shall remember how saint peter at the blast of the wind began to sink because of the lack of his faith and i shall do as he did i shall call upon the name of our lord jesus christ and therefore my own good daughter do not let your mind be troubled over anything that will happen to me in this world nothing can come between god's will and i am sure whatever that will be however bad it may seem it indeed shall be the best what does saint thomas more want to tell us what does this story want to tell us are we ready are we vigilant enough to avoid anything that keeps us away from the kingdom of god are we ready to guard ourselves against sin in order to enter the kingdom of god a 17th century saint saint francis de sales patron of the salesian congregation has to say something about temptation and about guarding ourselves against sin he says this let the enemy rage at the gates let him knock let him push let him cry let him howl the enemy can only enter if we give him consent only if we allow sin to enter into our heart will we be able to not avoid sinning the brief message of today's gospel is simply this are we willing to undergo any sacrifice in order to uphold the kingdom of god are we willing to let ourselves be destroyed in order to avoid sin and that is the message in today's gospel
my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. 